wakurugenzi <laughs> mamen mkurugenzi mini swords na ilivyo desturi waga tunafungua kipindi na kutishia subscribers lakini leo nataka nikuja na upole leo siwatishi leo nataka tu niwashukuru kwa kutufikisha subscribers nusu milioni wadau unajua ukapanga 500,000 people hapa nje si michezo that is no mean feat and i don't take it for granted leo nataka tu niwaambie shukran sana asanteni barikiweni sasa ni road to where 1 million subscribers na tutapa hii tutafika hapo kama tumefika nusu milioni milioni itatushinda i know we are headed there nice um kama umekuwa ukinifuata fuata umeona kuna tikiti fulani nimepeana juzi eh mtu wa manchester ameshinda katikiti hapo aende aone timu yake ikidhulumiwa ikinyooshwa ikifanywa mbaya <laughs> all that courtesy of absa <laughs> sti hapa amekasirika lakini huyo ndo ukweli wa mambo eh bwana uh, imekuwa fiti now absa wanapatia na tickets zingine so kaeni standby nitawashoniza mechi gani eh, you know what to do you just need to have an account with them absa eh, kama hauna fungua saa hii kaa nayo standby ndio wakati nina announce pale eh upate uko sawa uko sawa na pia si atimfungue tu sababu ya tikiti no 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 beautiful things are happening at absa hiyo ni account moja especially nyinyi watu wa diaspora actually nyinyi ndio naongelesha leo watu wa diaspora ni account unaweza fungua ukiwa mahali popote pale anywhere transact anytime eh fanya fanya mambo yako pale kuna digital savings account pale ambaye iko na returns mufti 9% imagine it's actually the best of any bank in this country hakuna bank inafika 9% wewe ka pesa yako pale after mwaka moja kula 9% wachana na hiyo pesa nyingine endelee kukufanyia kazi eh hey, kama unataka uh, financial advice absa wako hapo link nimekuwekea kwa description just open this account and transact freely sindio very nice now leo nataka niwapeleke moja kwa moja baka Bulgaria. Lakini kabla hatujaenda Bulgaria na naona niko na members wa new kwa kikosi, niko na the bright and beautiful boy from Kisia kwa hapo. Us unaweza ni ama deno unaweza mulika huko kijana. Aletusumbua huko house help sana. Leo ndio yako kwenye mitambo ya sauti hapo. Eh deno bado ni mulikie us hapo ni dio pia tari amekuja kushikilia kama nje. Us ni mulikie deno hapo kijana amekuja <laughs> Amekuja kushikilia kazi hapa. Nashukuru sana. Asanteni. Okay, tunaweza endelea sasa. Eh, wadau mwaka ni 2013. Location Sofia, Bulgaria. Pale Bulgaria, eh, mtaa ya Sofia, kuna binti mali safi kuruka, mrembo kupindukia, anaitwa Ruja Ignatova. Ruja Ignatova ni msichana anasema Aki tumejaribu kutafuta kama ni ukweli atuoni atuoni kitu ya kusema ukweli ukweli ime happen but yeye mwenyewe akiulizwa anasema yeye ni a graduate of Oxford Business School Kama unajua Oxford unajua yu ni shule si hivi hivi ni shule ya kimataifa But hakuna records kwa Oxford zinaonyesha Ruja alisomea huko but ni sawa since I insist wacha tukubali tu alisomea Oxford In 2013 Huyu mrembo anapata idea mufti sana. 2013 ni mambo ya cryptocurrency imeingia vizuri pale, Bitcoin inafanya mambo yake. Ruja Ignatova anaamuata yeye anaanzisha yake. Ako na idea ya Bitcoin yake mufti sana inajiita One Coin. Anataka pia ikuje ifanye nini? Isumbue Bitcoin. But before aanze, asha panga mikakati zake za kumarket coin na kagundua kama kuna design deadly ya kupiga marketing safi ni kitu inaitwa multi level marketing multi level ni nini ni ile wa Kenya wa kawaida tunaitaga pyramid scheme wewe unachagua majamaa na marafiki zako una recruit hao wanaenda wanachagua jamaa na marafiki zao wana recruit watu before long mazee it's a whole pyramid ya kikosi kuna mtu alikuwa ameivisha hiki kitu deadly sana anaitwa Roy kutoka kutoka India ako na company na jita Sahara. Hebu enda tu Google tu Sahara India. Huo mse sidhani kuna mse amepiga multi level deadly in the world kuliko Roy. Sahara is such a big deal ilikuwa na sponsor mpaka ma Formula 1 teams. Yani iko if I'm not wrong 
Roy could very easily be among the richest human beings but niju hiyo company yake ilikuwa na mshike mshike mushkili so watu wa Forbes wange muweka pale sababu unajua wale wanataka legit man hii yenye inakani fishi fishi yeah so Ruja Ignatova akaona that is the way to go multi level recruit watu watu wa recruit watu hivyo hivyo na to grow so akaenda akaongea na a multi level marketing specialist Jama I think kutoka US ama UK ameiva hiyo kazi mbaya wakakaa chini na Ruja wakapanga mikakati safi kila kitu na waka launch kipindi by 2014 one coin ilikuwa imeingia kazi let me tell you sijui kama kuna kitu kwa hii maisha ishawahi grow mbio design one coin ili grow i think hata kama huu msichana anatudanganya na hii kitu yake ya Oxford aule ako na tu biashara ndani yake in months one coin ilikuwa tayari watu wamesha invest 1 billion euros do you know how much 1 billion euros is sai kwanza euro moja ni 160 bob so ina maanisha in a few months aso alikuwa shaingiza 160 billion kenya shillings sijui ni biashara gani ina grow ina hiyo rate kama iko niambieni hapo kwa comments tafadhali so um dem lazima hapa alikuwa na kitu So maze one coin ime grow 1 billion uh, already in investments ishawe kwa ndani ya kipindi sasa mrembo akaanza ku look the part hataweza kupatia 1 billion na unakaa hivi hivi no kwa nini ni njugush lazima you look the part unafaa ukae yenyewe huni mtu anaweza chunga 1 billion yetu nakwambia maze madem akaanza ma birthday za ki... yani sherehe zake zilikuwa world class Ruja Ignatova akipiga sherehe the people walikuwa wanatokelezea pale ni the who is who top businessmen wako pale yani mama nuchandaria of the world wanaingia pale eh, top politicians presidents of countries walikuwa wanatokea birthday ya umdem mega stars watu wa muziki sinema nini sports people top at the top creme de la creme and also walikuwa wanatokea kwa hizi my events maze leo ana pull up na Rolls Royce kesho wako kwa zijui Range Rover gani yani she lived the life um dem alikuwa anajua kuishi proper by 2016 akukwa na kubishana Ruja Ignatova was eh, what was the title she gave herself the crypto queen hiyo hakuna hata kubishana she looked the part ukimwangalia unaona yenyewe huu ndio crypto queen so by 2016 This thing had become so huge. Now anapiga mazema ma, ma conferences around the world. Yani Ruja eh, ni mdeadly mpaka ashaanza kuwekwa kwa cover ya Forbes magazine. Wadau wacheni niwaambie ile siku mtaniona mimi kwa Forbes magazine, mkikutana na mimi kwa streets niambieni niwaekee lami mtaa sababu nitakuwa nimemake it. Forbes si ya kila mtu. Ukijipata kwa Forbes wewe ni hatari. Ma magazines deadly, deadly card the economists wanapiga interviewer wewe unajua ndio interviewer kwa economist una need kuku umefanya nini wewe Ruja alikuwa hapo maze eventually waso alikama kagundua kumbe hiyo Forbes ilikuwa tu ni ile Forbes magazine worldwide ilikuwa ni Forbes magazine Bulgaria na alikuwa amelipa watu wa Forbes magazine Bulgaria wamweke hapo kwa cover uh, our the economists ukweli walimu interview lakini naye alicapitalize na hiyo interview Alia kikisha picha zote zenye amepigwa kwa hiyo interview ako karibu na hiyo lebo yao The Economist. It's such a big deal magazine The Economist. Hiyo mtu yote tu akiona umeinterviewa nao anajuaga ah huyu ni mtu true. So hizo picha alikuwa anapigwa hapo kwa hiyo nini na hiyo logo ya The Economist alizitumia. Any pitch ali pitch mbele ya watu. Hiyo hizo picha lazima zingecheza pale. Juu ukiona yenyewe huyu mtu amekalishwa chini na watu wa The Economist unajua ya this hapa there is no joke kama kuna kitu msichana alikuwa ameiva mazeni PR yani alikuwa tu sawa in 2016 akapiga bonge la inve, uh, event wapi uh, UK akajaza Wembley Stadium Wembley mazeni Wembley Arena ni big like huko ndio sasa UK kama unataka kuvuruga kabisa either o tu ama hiyo Wembley Wembley ni hatari so ameenda amejaza huko 3000 people na 3000 people Si ati akina sisi hapa a ah, a ah. ni 3000 top at the top like w- hatari ilikuwa event deadly i think kulikuwa mpaka na presidents kwa kwa kwa, kwa hiyo event na akaingia mazeki star kisani 
Like hapa ndio wasa walikuwa wengi walikuwa namuona for the first time na yenyewe ali look the part. Nakumbuka mazee aliingia kwa stage mazee ma pyrotechnics zinapiga tu mabaruti kwa stage kidogo kidogo mazee ma screens na waka moto nini ameingia na ile song ya Alicia Keys this girl is on fire ana kae yenyewe ako on fire chief niliona hiyo video yote makiingia kwa stage nikasema even me i want to be a girl on fire like alikuwa na kato fit mazee makeup imekubali ana ka pesa lakini wewe watu kawa wamesha invest 1 billion euros kwa nini yako lazima tu ukae fit so mazee event me nini fit eh, eh, ruja akaingia pale kwa stage akaambia wase statement moja mazee ili shangaza the whole world so the way is cryptocurrency zo work e the number of coins uaga ziko fixed kama bitcoin i think inakoga inakoga 21000 coins ama hebu niambieni hapa kwa comment zo kwa fixed so ne, ukitaka hii nini mnaendaga mkigawana mpaka unajipata ukinunua unanunua a fraction of a bitcoin even ndio inakoga juu lazima tu maintain scarcity ndio value baki juu na mnakumbuka hata nishaiwaambia ni, ni moja characteristic moja ya money ni it needs to be scarce but sasa ruja kwa event amekuja mazea kaamua no we are changing the game right now one coin is operating na 2 billion coins nataka ni multiply hiyo kitu times 50 kutoka hapa tutakuwa tuna operate na 120 billion coins eh sababu sisi ni hatari hivyo but kama we ni mtu umekuwa kwa darasa madiki kuna kitu ulikuwa na confirm hapo nini Ah uko sawa. Kama wewe ni mtu umekuwa kwa darasa ya economics na mabiashara biashara, unajua ile law ya supply na demand. Wakati supply iko chini, demand inakuwa ga juu, so ina maanisha price itaenda juu. Lakini supply ikiwa juu, ina maanisha demand itaenda chini na prices zitashuka. So wale wasi walikuwa tayari washa invest na hiyo one coin, waka panic. Wakajuliza wait wait ngoja fast. Unataka kuongeza hizi coins times 50 from 2 billion coins to 120 billion. Hii itatu affect sababu sasa ina maanisha hizi coins zitakuwa mingi, demand itakuwa chini, so bei itashuka. Akaambia zi, relax, why are you panicking? Si mimi ndio na washo. Mimi ndio na washo. Hizo coins naziongeza times 50. Bei ya hizi coins hazitashuka and in fact, kama already uko na hizi coins kwa wallet yako, I am doubling zile coins uko nazo. Kama uko na 10,000 coins na kupatia an additional 10000 so utakuwa na 10000 coins na price itabaki the same meaning just by mimi kuleta hizi 120 billion coins kwa market i have doubled your fortunes ay 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 wadau the world went crazy buda watu walinunua hizo vitu 175 countries over 1 million people bought your one coin i think by the time your campaign yake inaisha wasa walikuwa may invest 4 billion euros na world coin 175 countries chief people in kenya walinunua hiyo one coin wase uganda walinunua hiyo one coin it was insane um dem alikafunga proper so that's 2016 as we are approaching 2017 alikuwa asha kamua wase design ngori wase walikuwa wanapatiwa inheritance na wazee wao wanauza inheritance yote wanaenda wana purchase bitcoin i mean one coin wase walikuwa wanaacha well paying jobs ma dentist ma daktari ma engineer wana resign waende wafanye nini kazi ya kuuza gaizi ma one coin sababu maze ilikuwa insane ulikuwa unaangalia pesa unatengeneza maze leo uko na maybe eh, 10000 shillings Eh, worth of hiyo one coin kesho unasikia mazee sijui figures zimeenda hadi wapi kidogo 10000 shillings yako imeshafika karibu milioni ah una quit hii kazi nafanya hapa 30 days mnanilipa peanuts quit watu waliacha makazi deadly ndio wasukume hiyo samo it was insane people killed each other because of one coin like that's how big hii kitu ilikuwa So 2016 amepiga hiyo campaign deadly sasa imeenda haywire wasome nunua deadly now she has 4 billion euros kwa account yake 175 people uh, i mean countries 1 million people wamenunua it's it's insane akajiambia now this is the perfect time to exit 
by 2017 by the instincts zake zilikuwa right wakati mzee unafanya vitu on a global scale mzee na unapiga vitu successfully your design lazima kuna wasu watakuwa curious regulators pia wako hapa wanajiuliza eh hey, who dem anakachezaje bitcoin pia inafanya poa lakini tunaangalia trajectory ya bitcoin vile hii growth ya udem i i make sense ni nini ndio ya adapt kidogo maze other eh, authorities pia washaanza kumulika maze eh no there must be something hapa so ma agencies zikaanza kumuinvestigate chini ya maji so by the time 2017 inaenda kufika umresha kiamua nao it's time to exit alikuwa right wase walikuwa rada yake deadly so what does she do anaenda anachukua hiyo pesa yote amegather yote anaitoa where she sends it nobody knows number two, personal assistant wake ni brother yake anamwambia ni aje book me two tickets kumbukeni ni mdemo wa bulgaria so capital city yao semi sofia anaambia bro wake ni aje nibukie tiko mbili tiko moja nibukie wapi em, vienna austria na hiyo tiko ingine athens greece nitakaa nifikirie ni wapi nitaenda so the brother does exactly that anaenda na book two plane tickets na namwambia ndio hiyo tiko ya vienna ndio hii na tiko ya athens ndio hiyo mrembo anapanda ndege anaingia wapi athens greek Greece Believe it or not wakurugenzi wenzangu that flight from Sofia Bulgaria to Athens Greece, uh, Greece was the last time kulikuwa na any traces of Ruzia Ignatova after hapo ali vanished without a trace disappeared into the abyss hakuna mtu anajua mdema alienda wapi alipotea tu just like that wase wamemtafuta US mazao wame, through FBI bana wame launch manhunts huko deadly Miss Jui ni nani mwingine anatafutwa hiyo design Udema anatafutwa na polisi hizo agencies zote Interpol FBI anatafutwa na journalists wa piga story yake nothing hawampati private investigators wanajaribu kutafuta umresh zero nothing vitu wanasikia tu ni ameonekana place A ameonekana place B kuna story inasemekana ameonekana Brazil ameandago sijui sex change huko e, amebadilisha identity yake wengine wanasema wamemuona Heathrow airport kidogo kidogo wengine wamemuona sijui wapi like kuna leads tu na hizi leads ziko all over the place wase wanamtafuta deadly hawampati FBI wameshaanza kuingia kwa record zake wameshaanza kuingia mpaka kwa email nini nini na wakapata walae umresh alikuwa anajua exactly ni nini anafanya sababu 2014 wakati one coin ililaunchiwa officially kuna mail aliandika na title ya hiyo mail ilikuwa nini exit strategy so she knew what she was doing alijua ata build kitu then atakama pull tu hiyo yote atoe na disappear for good ameandika mpaka hapo design zote zenye alikuwa anafikiria kuhepa So FBI walifikiria hizo zitasaidia na leads nini but nothing. Umresh haonekani, amepotea, disappeared kabisa completely. So one person amejaribu kumfuata fuata deadly. I uh, think a private investigator or something. Na from vile ameza ku piece hizi hii report yake anasema after ambie brother yake ambukie flight. Alipanda hiyo ndege ukweli, akaenda akaanguka wapi? Athens Greece kutoka Athens alienda kwa a, a small town mahali hapo juu inaitwa Thessaloniki akabanga hizo Thessaloniki kutoka 2017 until around 2018 then from there akaona hapa mambo inaweza kwa imetulia tulia akarudi wapi back to Sofia Bulgaria kuingia Sofia Bulgaria FBI huku wamefanya mambo yao wako kazi deadly hata si FBI ni German police sababu Eh, w- 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 polisi wa Germany pia walikuwa namtafuta like Interpol kikusaka ina maisha the whole world inakutafuta mtu wangu so German police pia walikuwa wanafanya fanya mambo yao waka suspect eh udema anaweza kuwa amerudi wapi Sofia so wakakamu waka raid ofisi zake za Sofia umresh akaona he okay hasa ni kama wa, bado wako idha yangu akatoka it is alleged that anaweza kuwa alitoka Sofia akapanda ndege teke teke mpaka wapi Dubai sababu Dubai alikuwa na property huko alikuwa na strong connections pale so akaenda akaingia Dubai akabanga hizo Dubai deadly but kumbukeni FBI ni noma huko wako cousin so by 2019 FBI walikuwa washa launch nini warrant of arrest 
Wale mzima wameambiwa mukiona huu msichana tafadhalini mtuwekee tunamkujia amefanya watu mbaya watu wameumia 4 billion euros zimepotea mazee courtesy of this girl so vile ile warrant of arrest inatolewa na ako Dubai akacheki akaona blanda hapa wanaweza nipeana so teke teke akaingia ndege na akavuka mahali alienda sijui wanasema sana sana wanashukua alirudi wapi Europe sababu of course uh, sightings Europe ameonekana onekana sana especially around areas za Mediterranean Sea Now another theory ni kwamba the reason why tangu wapige ila pia Dubai to Europe imekuwa hard sana kumshika ni sababu hapa Mediterranean mali inaonekana kuna kunaweza kuwa na probability haishi kwa land. Huni mtu alikuwa na do enough ya ku rent ki ama ku buy yacht mzima anaweza kuwa anatembea gatuko kwa international waters. Na unajua it's very difficult to police to police international waters. Mtu anaweza kaa huko mazee na hakuna kitu mtamfanyia. So very high chances anaweza kwa tu yuishi kwa yote yake huko katikati ya bahari the mediterranean huko ndio kwa maana imechacha hivyo kumshika wasio wamejaribu deadly wamemtafuta all over the place to date hakuna mtu wa shaib jua mali ruja ignatova ameenda one journalist maze akapiga lap tena akarudi sofia bulgaria akaenda akapata one coin office bado iko kazi na iko na employees wanaendelea so maswali hapo ni kama hii place kama hii kitu hii entity yote mazee ni illegal kwa nini ase bado wanaendelea cooperate it's funny kuna unanswered questions hapo the same journalist akapiga lap teke teke mpaka wapi east africa a small country called uganda akapata mazee ushago fulani uganda wase bado wako kazi one coin mbaya sana ma agents wanauza hizo vitu deadly na mazee ime thrive waganda huko wameuza mangombe wameuza manyumba nini washike e coin bado wako na hope ya mdosi wao atarudi wanajua mdosi wao alipotea lakini wanajiambia no ile he, pesa tuko nayo hapa atarudi lazima atarudi so mpaka leo to date in Uganda bado wanatoa hii pesa ya one coin it's insane like mnaibiwa na muoni yo <laughs> ama tusiblame waganda sana mambo yao inakuwa aga ngumu <laughs> kama muoni mfu 37 years old president wenu anahitaji kubadilishwa yenyewe hata kumkiibiwa amotaona rosa wewe na nikola marafiki wa waganda watanimulika now eh, as of the date that i'm telling this story which is 1st of November 2023 Ruja Ignatova has never been seen again never been found hakuna mtu anajua mrembo yuko wapi 4 billion euros ilipotea hivyo 1 million people from 175 countries wanalia tu huko pesa yao imepotea she vanished without a trace FBI wamemweka kwa top 10 most wanted Like una jua wewe ni mudeadly kama wewe ni mtu wa financial crimes na umeekwa ligi moja na terrorists <laughs> wewe ni mudeadly <laughs> Top 10 FBI most wanted eh, I think angekuwa amepatikana ni vile hiyo pesa FBI wanapeana ni ya ukumbafu FBI I think wanapeana 250,000 dollars kushika mtu ameibia watu 4 billion euros Simuongeze hiyo kitu bana tutume vijana huko muone msichana akipatikana <laughs> It's insane man it's it's crazy so i think the fact that uh, ame do a lot of uh, plastic surgery na ameza kuforge ma karatasi zake ndio inafanya na kwa elusive hiyo design i don't know hiyo ile siku atapatikana ndio atatuambia yep and that's the story of ruja ignatova hatari sana bado wa committee na wa Kenya walikuwa kwa hiyo kitu ya one coin. Msijifanye you are there. You are there. Nimeona list ya wale watu wa Kenyans mko hapo, especially Kenyans in the diaspora. Mmepoteza pesa. Haki na mna tandikagwa guys. What's, what's the problem? <laughs> Mnaumia guys. Ah ah ah. ah. Wacha ni wapatie a safe solution. Kama uko na pesa na ujui kile kufanya nayo, iweke mahali ukifikirianga. Iweke mahali safe ukifikirianga na mahali safe ni wapi? Nikikwambia sasa hii ufungue tu hiyo digital uh, uh, current uh, mean savings account ya Absa uiweke hapo ikuwe na kukuliaga tu 9% kila mwaka ukifikiria tu weka pesa yako ikiwa pale iko safe hakuna mtu hakuna siku utasikia ati Absa imeenda ikafanywa plastic surgery na imepotea na pesa yako <laughs> no cheza safe 
other than the digital savings account of course uh, unaweza fungua regular savings account regardless of where you are uk canada russia nini fungua your absa account transact na watu wako hapa kenya virahisi bila hassle in case una need any financial advice absa wako hapa wanakusaidia take ngori yeah link nimekuwekea hapo kwa description fungua account yako ya absa na wishi bila stress bila kujali guy na hii kampuni itafungwa no uko tu sawa guys sasa wada bas na ninafungia kipindi hapo imekuwa true sana sana nyenye ni watu wa nguvu mkuwe na siku mwanana na watambo wa deadly adios muchachos peace hey nice acha nigonge funda la jos mm. okay Let it go, Sasa. Ah, yeah.